Awesome, I want to welcome you all, team all in, team just so excited to have Ashley here with us. She's actually at the home office um, in California, and I know you've got some great things happening there. They're getting ready for our summit, and uh, they're going to be launching some amazing things. Um, oh my gosh, it's like a month away. It's like, ah! <laughs> Anyways, Ashley, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Absolutely. Wit is looking for a chair. And once okay. he finds one, he'll be right here. Awesome. <laughs> so we'll have, we'll have both of us in a minute. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I'm super excited to get to see all of your sweet faces. Um, yes, we're in the home office right now, and we've been in meetings the past two days uh, constantly about Impact Summit. And I'm going to try to guard my tongue because we, we talk very openly about lots of fun stuff in these meetings. And um, I cannot let my my mouth get away from me going from meeting to a meeting where you guys are not supposed to know all the things that we've been talking about all day so if I slip up no one tells my boss so there's not a, um, uh, impact summit is going to be incredible um, there are I know that Whit said this on the, the call yesterday but there's so much more that's going to be unveiled at impact summit um than just the new product and the new product is fantastic you all are going to love it um but there's a lot more coming that we're really excited about and even more coming as you look at um at the plan over the next year and the plan over the next two years which it always seems so far away when you say over the next year, but then you open your eyes and you're like, oh, it's been six months. So uh, lots of great things uh, headed your way. Uh, are there, here you go, Wits here, um, but his chair's a little low. Hang on. <laughs> I look really tall with him. <laughs> um, so is there anything that you guys want to go over this evening? Anything you guys are running into that you want to chat about? Um, I can't tell you what we've been doing in the office. So sorry about that. Um, but we do love the momentum that we're seeing in Canada. There's a lot of three and thirties happening, a lot of great um, a lot of great recruiting happening. And I know that it's finally booth season for all of you and show season. And you guys are fantastic about that. We did without giving away anything. We had a meeting yesterday and there's something that is going to come out um, at Impact Summit that will make your booths even easier and your shows even easier. Um, so that is actually being developed with Canada in mind, which is fun uh, because you guys are the show, you know, kings and queens. So anything you, anything you specifically want to tell them, I'm going to open it. Let me get your questions ready. Uh, but that way there's no. Nothing specific. No, I think. No, no I told him I was like, we're going to have to guard our tongues yes. because we talk very openly in our meetings all day yesterday and today. And I'm guarding. I even so don't I even, try to trick us. Don't, yeah. don't try to trick us here. I even Actually, took a breath give, before give I said Steven impact a beer. Summit. Give, St give Stephen a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 loose lips. I, I even took a breath before I said Impact Summit because my brain is, I'm tired. Um, I woke up at three o'clock this time, you know, like it was 3 a.m. and I was just walking around a dark hotel room. So I'm tired and I didn't know if that was a secret Impact Summit. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I'm just going to guard my words. <laughs> yeah, so what's on y'all's heart? What's on your mind that we can dive into anybody anything anything for steve when go ahead i would love to talk about booths because i have three arranged for the summer so far and really what i want to know is i've been at, i've been at booths and i uh, i haven't nailed it so i want to know how you get people to you. come on in come on in and talk to me Besides standing in front of your thing and smiling and saying hi to everybody who goes by, even though they turned their head the other way. And mm -hmm. what's a, some good, I know we've talked about starting conversations, but these are conversations that you want to excite them for just that minute to make them stand, pause and say, oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Well, yeah. one, I think it's really important to know that some people are going to walk by. And they're going to turn mm. their head in the other direction. And I think you need to know going into it that we can't be offended by that, right? <laughs> like when they walk by and they look the other direction, just remember that you do the same thing. 
when you go to shows and you don't want to talk to anybody, you know, so make sure that you know that that is going to happen because we all do it. But I do think that this is not like, don't think of a booth or a show as anything different than building relationships, right? Like, how do you make a friend? You make a friend by smiling. You make a friend by, you know, giving them a compliment and a sincere compliment, right? So don't think of it as uh, don't overcomplicate it, I guess is the best way I can put it. Like, don't overcomplicate it. It's it's friend making. It is relationship building. And the way that you do that is you step outside your comfort zone and you smile and you speak to them. Um, but there's no magic words to get someone to like, you know, come in, come into your booth. Like I had someone say, well, what do you say? And I'm like, hello. So um, <laughs> there's nothing magical, uh, but it's just it, but don't over, it's just like a hundred one-on-ones very quickly, right? It's like speed dating, you know? And some people you're gonna be like, nope, you're not, nope, you're not mine. Or I guess I don't know how to online date, but I heard that you swipe left or right. Now, I don't know which is left and which is right, like which is good or which is bad. But like a booth is kind of like that. You just swipe. The people walking by are swiping. They're like, nah, I don't want that. Nah, I don't want that. So one thing to understand is your booth has to be attractive. You know, like your booth can't be cluttered and it has to be attractive from 10 feet away. Because 10 feet away is when people are going to make their decision whether they're going to walk up and talk to you. So you don't want to look too eager and you don't want to look desperate. So, you know, control your facial expressions, even if you have to have a mirror on your table, uh, control your facial expressions. People can sense desperation. So you don't want to like pounce on people as they come by because that will, you know, I'll run the opposite direction real fast. So you just want to make sure that you are in control of your facial expressions. You're in control of your movements, but that your booth and what you're doing is attractive from 10 feet away so that you'll draw them in. And attractive booths are very streamlined. Uh, they have big words so that you can see the purpose of what is in the booth. Um, our products admittedly, you know, they're all white and they have, you know, lighter writing on it. It's hard for them to read the name of our products from far away. We all know that. So it's important to make larger signs with the why behind our products on there. Energy, you know, shaping up, weight loss. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I can't tell, like, you, you know, you can't do conditions or anything like that. Like, I, I can't tell you to do those things. Uh, but whatever, you can ask Nada, um, whatever Nada says. Uh, but make sure that your signs are big enough and darkly printed um, so that people can read from far away. Because if I'm passing by and I want to lose weight, weight loss catches my attention. If I work out all the time and I pass by a sign that says, do you work out? That gets my attention or sports performance, right? So don't go very clinical with your names. You know, like we go very sciencey in Neolife a lot. Don't go very clinical. We're talking weight loss. Uh, do you work out or sports performance? Uh, things like that. You know, if you're going to put the skincare out there, um, do as just a last thing, and I'll, I'll turn it over to Wit to, to fill in the gaps. Um, don't feel like you have to put every product out there. And I would not put multiple products of the same thing out there, even if they find themselves in different categories. You've got one, you can always pull a shake bag from a breakfast solution over to talk about it with something else. So you just want to streamline it. And you want to make sure that your, your booth is not flat, you know, like you don't have everything laying on your table flat. You want to elevate it. I know that you guys are very good at that because I've been to your events, but, you know, just putting a riser underneath your tablecloth so that your products are at different levels, but then step back and ask yourself, is this overwhelming? And if it's overwhelming, edit, like continue to edit throughout the day and take things away. Um, having business cards on your table is a great way to waste money. So do whatever you want to do, but like people are going to stop and say that they're going to take a business card and you're never going to hear from them again. So like, that's a, a great way to throw away money. If that is what you're looking to do. If not, you can have the little slips of paper so that they can enter into a raffle. A raffle is your best bet at getting people's contact information because people will do anything for something free. So show them what is in the raffle show the price, retail price of what it's worth, not your price, but the retail price of what it's worth. And then um, make sure that your slips that they're filling out, very streamlined as well. People would rather circle things 
then put check marks beside things. So like think through like how you like to fill things out um, and just make sure that everything is edited, everything is streamlined and we're not listing everything that we can help on those slips of paper. I know I helped Shelly Sheridan with um, a booth ticket, you know, like a booth um, raffle slip. Um, I know that she has that. We had gone over it and we really simplified it for her. So maybe that's something you can grab from Shelly. I don't think I have access to it, but I think those are my best tips. What you got? Sorry. No, <laughs> I would say going back to one thing at the very beginning that is important. And I think we've talked about this before. There's a, there's one of two tendencies. It's to say like, it's to, to, to stay inside your booth, like behind a table or something and wait for someone to come to you. That typically is not gonna is not going to lead to a lot of uh, success. It, it, you're gonna have to be out there in front of the booth, as you mentioned, when with with a smile, greeting, approachable. Um, I think that's probably one of the the biggest things that I've seen. The difference is is someone who kind of just like stands in the back of the booth and waiting and hoping some people walk in and ask them about stuff versus the ones that are proactive and they're standing out there, you know, and up front of the booth and they're approachable, offering samples, offering samples you know like smiling, hey, how are you doing as people are walking by to kind of draw them in? I think that's a huge, huge uh, difference that I've seen at so many booths. And not to interrupt, so remember where you were, not to interrupt, but keep your hands busy. If you are standing behind your booth, make sure that you're doing something. Standing there waiting on people is intimidating and it kind of looks like you're going to pounce. It also looks desperate because you're bored. So keep your hands busy, whether you're cutting out more slips, you know, you don't have to have everything ready. Like take some things that you want to prep when you get there so that you could be cutting some things out. You could be, you know, moving products around, but keep your hands busy because it's more attractive for someone to walk up if they don't feel like you're staring at them all the way in, you know what I mean? Keep your hands busy and talk to them, right? Like, you know, you're, you're cutting things out, you're moving things and you're like, Hey, how are you doing? You know what I mean? You're busy and it's way less intimidating to the person that you're talking to rather than standing there with your arms behind your back. And you're like, hello, how you doing? How are you doing? You know what I mean? You look bored and you look like no one else is interested in what you're doing either. So sorry, continue. No. <laughs> and then, and then I would just say two things is, and ideally, like if you and like sometimes I think there's this mentality of like, I'm gonna send everyone away from the booth and follow up with everyone versus like for those that are excited or maybe want to get started, like getting them started on the spot, you know, so like bring a tablet with you if you have like an iPad or a laptop and hopefully you'll have you know Wi-Fi that you can access. If not, take the sheets of paper. Yeah. Get their information and put them in when you get back home. Yeah. But have the ability to like, for those that are excited or and like maybe want to get started, like that you can take the, take the, the, the time right then and there to get them started as a club member or get them signed up as a promoter and get their order product ordered, et cetera. Sometimes I think it's like, I have seen it before or, or where it's kind of like, oh no, I don't sign anybody up at the booth or I don't help anyone get started at the booth. Like I, you know, I, I wait and follow up with them all, everyone afterwards. and someone lots of people could be really excited and want to get started right now but you think i'll just follow up with them tomorrow and they'll still want to get started and by that point like they're in a whole different mindset so i'd say like if you have the opportunity to sign someone up as a club member promoter get them an order get them started get them excited all of those things on the spot take that advantage so so you you have the orders the order forms available you know so that you can fill everything out and then go back home and do it yourself for them or if you have a laptop or a tablet that's available to get them enrolled immediately, you know, you could do that. Um, and then third, I will say is like the 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 whole thing of like you you will have to do a lot of follow up from booths, you know, from a show. You will have to do a lot of follow up. So like, you know, be prepared as you're working your booth, like you're organized on how you're capturing these leads, their information, and knowing that you're going to need to follow up with them. And then um, one additional thing, be prepared with your save and share cart links. You know, like if you are, if someone comes by and they're ready to get started, you can let them know that you will, you know, save and share a cart for them and that they can check out with one click. Um, that is way less intimidating than sending someone to your website. It's also easier, like you're way more likely to get the the um, website and internet to cooperate with you with one link rather than going in and building it right there for them. Um, so be prepared with your save and share cart links with the things that you sell most from your booths. And you probably know the things that you sort of lead people to. Um, when you save and share that cart though, and you um, 
send it to them you have to don't you have to go back and create another one like you can't use that same you link can't. every time you sure can you so can. you can okay. create the links and keep them in your phone so like uh we can create a, a breakfast solution a shape up solution you know whatever it is and then save them in the notes on your phone under you know breakfast solution link you know the shape up solution link but you can also build out um like a family bundle and you can call it the family bundle uh but that link will work repeatedly so you can save those in your phone and be ready to go oh wow okay i thought every i thought when when they when they used it and they registered and they placed an order using that link that that link can't be used again Nope, you're good to go. Okay. It is a, it's a reusable link. So you can build as many carts okay. as you want in the back office okay. and then save those links on your phone, which makes it really easy in situations like shows and booths. Um, so you can text them. them. You, oh, can text, you can just copy and paste and send it to them in a text. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Or an email if that's what they want. But mm -hmm. text is so easy at a show. You yeah. know, you've got it in your, your phone and you're like, okay, great. I, mm -hmm. I'm going to build a cart for you and send it over to you right oh. now with that breakfast solution. And you send it over, they get it immediately. And they're like, oh my goodness, like you're really fast. Awesome. Um, you can even, and I know that I've heard Nata talk about show specials before, Ooh, like a show special is great, you know, make sure that you order, you know, if you order before the show ends this weekend, you're going to get X, Y, Z, even if it's, mm -hmm. you know, something, you know, something silly, um, you can even label that, uh, save and share a cart, the show special, right? So, mm. um, whatever it is that you can offer them as a fear of loss, and, uh, you know, to entice them to get started sooner rather than later will work in your favor. And Ash, I feel the like we've been doing tons of booths and, and we did sign up two people on the weekend. And and it's interesting, like when you say, you know, what works, what doesn't work. And sometimes when you say things don't work, sometimes they do work. <laughs> like, yeah. um, I think also I really believe in timing in people's lives. And yep. like this one gentleman walked by our booth with a huge plate with a hot dog overflowing with french fries and he walked by and he was a very big burly guy he walked by looked at the neolife shake sign where it said better body whatever yeah. it says on that sign and he just looked at me and he walked into the booth and he put his plate down and he goes what do you got <laughs> yeah absolutely right so it it just depends i think on on timing like i didn't say a word to him he just saw the neolife shake he saw the better body and and he saw his, his plate full of french fries and a hot dog and so he ended up signing up so yeah. right on the spot so Perfect. you know and i and leone signed up and sean signed up somebody with john where they just had a deep conversation for about 30 minutes in the booth because she had a lot of different needs and the conversation was amazing and she felt like you know she was caring and and that that we were going to help her and and she built that relationship and that trust um, so, you know, and sometimes even when people are walking by, when so many people will just put their head down and you're right, there's nothing you can do. But when you have that eye contact, I just joke around and say, Hey, we're making these amazing smoothies. Do you want to try? Sometimes yep. they say, no, thank you. And sometimes they say, sure. Right. It's, it's, it's hit or miss, but, and, and it's funny because at the beginning of the show, we kind of sat there and I, I think it's because we were tired and, you know, it was like a, it was a hot day and we had a bit of chaos trying to set up our booth. So we were just literally sitting in our chairs and people were just walking by. And finally I thought we got to stand up and just start talking to people. <laughs> and and we did, as soon as we got up and started just saying hi and connecting with people and, and sometimes like families with kids, oh my gosh, the best thing you can do is make a comment about how cute their kids are. Right. Especially when the stroller, they, God, your kids are so adorable and they you know they come over with the stroller and you start a conversation and that's one of the best compliments you can you know give to a mom or or a dad right the kids are adorable right so it's just again you just got to engage make conversation compliment like you were saying and and again it's just hit or miss it's a numbers game that's it, and, and I always have my laptop and there's most places have wi-fi they didn't have wi-fi at the um at the um campground but you can tether off your phone and and use wi-fi like and 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 have your um website up that way so that's an option or even just use your phone shelly just signs people up on her phone boom 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 right on her neolife um uh website and she's there and she's signing people up like crazy so you can so and it's funny because we never used to sign people up we used to do the follow-up and you know and 
but I think we've signed up more people at shows this year than we ever have because we're, we're, that's our focus and our goal is to close them, right? And it doesn't always work. Like Cindy is the queen of follow-up. Cindy, you have signed up people from shows from four years ago, three years ago. Like Cindy keeps that relationship, right? Cindy, you keep following up and communicating because timing and things happen and change in people's lives, right? Yeah, and you know, like, and time goes on and you haven't connected with them <clears throat> as well. But, you know, I just... Um... Just that genuine, um, sincere care mm -hmm. to call and see how they're doing. And that quite often just leads to something, right? And mm -hmm. just like uh, I had that lady, it was, yeah, four years ago that came out to the uh, uh, the event in Orangeville. Um, now she's just getting ready to herself to finally get on the uh, the upbeat. But <clears throat> she does, she does um, Young Living. So she she didn't want to you know get too involved in neo life, but she loved the upbeat. So but she came but, from a four year from a event that you did four years ago. Oh yeah, yeah, and to, um, we've um, I've reconnected with um, someone that had joined um, in 2012, and um, well, Nada and I we did a three way conversation with her today, and she's ready to get started on some some more stuff as as well. Yeah, so just never know. Like, and, I, and it's not that I wasn't in touch with her throughout. I hadn't been actually pre-COVID, but um, it's not that I wasn't in tr trying to get in touch with her at times. And um, but she, it was she wasn't ready in her life at that time. She was using she, she went on psychology and different things, but um, she is ready now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's again timing, developing relationships, connecting. Um, you know, and, and having fun. I think having fun at the booth is also, yeah, they, they don't want to be, right? <laughs> they don't want to be bored, right? We got to have fun. And, and that's what we try to do at a booth. We joke around and, you know, we make fun. And even with the hot dog guy, I, I said, that's sometimes food. And he goes, oh, that's great. I said, you know what? Sometimes I'll have French fries, but not every day, right? And we just started, you know, joking around like that, right? And he goes, he goes, yeah, but I'm on the road every day and I'd be gone for a whole week. And he goes, man, we go out for these dinners. And, and he goes, and, and, and he goes, I know what I should pick. I know what I should eat. And I said, well, let's sit down and chat. I said, because I think I might be able to have, have some solutions for you to help you get through your work week. So anyways, we had some fun with that. One awesome. thing I want to share too is we have this thing, just a little tool. It's uh, ready to change your life. And then we say, please check the following. And we have here. Don't show. Uh, no, no, no. Don't don't say it out loud in front of Ashley and Wit. Sorry, Leonie. <laughs> Why? You know, not, Leonie, not we, can't, we can't know everything. They can't know that. They can't <laughs> see the, They can't see what's on that. Because uh, they they simplified uh, um, Shelley's because of what we did on that. Oh so, yeah, we're not, not going to talk. What, what we're not going to talk about that. What it is, we just get these are just tools that we get. What I was trying to say is, right. you get these tools, and you can't remember everyone. So you write the names, you write the whatever, you write what they're suffering from, and then you follow up. It's just one of the two. Okay, we're not supposed to show you, but that's another tool, right? So these are things that are very handy. We have these little forms, right? So, and, and like Nana says, it was fun. I mean, and we chit chat with people. I mean, and the, the thing is um, when they have children, the little kids, and it doesn't mean that if you talk to them, that they have to talk to you. You just, you know, that they'll stop by. You just say hello. And then sometimes they circle around and they come back again. What do you have kind of thing? So it's a matter of not trying to grab them all at once, right? Sometimes they'll go around and they'll come back. So you have to sort of ease off and, and, and as you say, don't pounce on people. Because you don't want to look desperate, <laughs> right? Yeah, so it's, we had fun. We've had fun this weekend and then the last weekend. So, yeah, it was nice. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And, and one thing I'm going to add is really quick, and this is where this will take a little bit of time for you before you go to your booth. And this is this really is like, and and I got this from Nat just, just a second ago. This really is at the end of the day, like marketing. Like this is where you want, you got to put on a little bit of your marketing hat. Nata did something I don't know if you caught it a second ago that instantly like there's a huge difference actually all the time and like how you phrase something nada said oh my goodness we're making some amazing smoothies mm -hmm. smoothies sound so much better than oh you got to come try our amazing shake yep. a shake mm -hmm. that has people think of shakes 
like they're thinking like they're not thinking like smoothie sounds delicious a smoothie sounds something like yummy i want you know what i mean like just even saying like come try our amazing smoothies sounds so much better than saying our shake and i'm sure like you could like there's other like when if you are sampling other products like little powerful words like that can have such a difference like i'm not sure if someone's like hey you want to come try our shake uh probably not but like we have some amazing smoothies that we've made like that sounds so much more appealing it does. so it's just like little things like that can... sounds like it was made with love yes <laughs> little it's a, like, it's a softer word it it's is. A, yeah little little <laughs> things like that those little one one words can have such a profound effect at your booth of whether someone's going to say yes to come try it or not um and i and yeah so that's just something to think about too is like if you are sampling things think about the best way that you could say it like i love like we have some amazing amazing smoothies mm-hmm. you know like that's, that's such a great phrase so like if you're sampling upbeat i wouldn't say you want to try some upbeat because people are gonna, no i don't know what upbeat is right you know so like i don't know what the right phrase is but like um like yeah like a, but those little and, words matter so now that was excellent and, and, and i know that sometimes there's a difference too like for example there was one lady that we met and I just want you guys to to understand the difference um she's a physiotherapist and and her husband you could tell he just did not want to stop and he thought i was doing this big sales pitch and his arms were like this and his, he just couldn't wait to leave but his wife mm-hmm. kept leaning in and leaning in and she said no i want to know more, more about science i want to know what like, why would I want to look at this? And, and then as soon as I started talking about the Neo Life Difference, I dove in to the Neo Life Difference because she had that mindset was, I'm going to stay here because I want to know why this salmon oil is different than the stuff that I, that I know that's out there. So I dove in, I was like, felt like John Miller. And I was thinking of Ashley thinking, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but this lady, the reason why she's interested is because of that. <laughs> it's not oh, like no. you're... That's exactly what you do. No, like the the whole thing. And I mean, keep in mind, we try to hook people with whatever gets them to have a conversation with us. But at the end of the day, we have to show them the Neo Life difference. Otherwise, they're going to go buy the Omega-3 on the the corner, right? Like they're going to go to CVS or they're going to go to Walgreens. Where we go wrong is when we just, you know, vomit all the science on someone that was just about to buy something until you bored them. But if you can hook them and they're like, tell me more about this science. That is when you get to unleash the beast, right? Like that's when you get to show them everything. Or if someone comes up and they're like, so what's different? Like, what is the difference in this and the other one? That's when we really get to show it to them, you know, but there's gotta be something that hooks them. And what Nada had already done was she hooked them. And then she found out what their love language was. Right. Right. That was good. Right. So we need to do a training on this at some point and we will Ash will do this um we can do it together at some point and we need this for the whole field not just Canada what you just said Nat another thing I, I just mentioned Ashley is is understanding um personalities mm-hmm. can make or break you in this business and you know if you can work from a personality uh profile like for example like the disc I don't know if you've heard of disc before but it's a way to break down people and 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 how they what their personality is how they taking information, how they relate to others in four different blocks. And so DISC is like um, D-I-S-C. And so um, D is a, a driver. So like, this is someone who's like, like, just tell me what I need to know right now. Like Very direct, get, direct. Yeah. like get to get to the point right now. Uh, like, I don't, you know, I don't, don't, I don't need a lot of words. Like you, we all have people like that, right? Like they want to get straight to the point, no fluff. Like they're very direct, you know, that that's the D. Then you have the the I, which is an influence. Is it influencer? Yeah, or, like an interactive something something. Yeah, I don't remember. But, but eyes are much more like they 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 want to have fun and it's about no, they they they're more about connecting with you and just talking and like, oh, I love your dress. Like it's all about the you, feel. The feel like where did you get that dress? Oh my goodness. Like, and they are they're like usually the life of the party. They're usually someone who like wants to have fun. They're about connecting. And they'll it, make decisions with their heart and like how they feel about it, you know. So it matters that you're building that relationship and that you look like you're having fun behind that booth. 
and then and then there's like an then the, there's like the S profile, which would I don't know what S stands for. Um, that was a social interactor. So they're the ones that like when they come up and they introduce themselves, they tell you their name, but then they also tell you their kids' names and the ages of their kids. You know, like I'm an I. I'm not going to tell you all of that information about my kids. I'm super excited and we're going to have a fun party. But like you all know the S's that they're like, okay, my name's Ashley and I've got two kids, Charlie and Colin. They're 18 and 16. That is an S all day long. And they really care about other people. They care about why you're doing this. Mm -hmm. They care about how they can help other people by doing this. Um, so you can pick them out very easily because they usually overshare uh, information. <laughs> and then the last one's C. And I'm going to give you a, a quick illustration of like how to how you can identify one of the four, the D, I, S, or C. And C stands for? The I don't remember. Elements. They're very analytical. Yeah, they are very analytical. They're the analytical, right? They, they, they want to know all of the, 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 they need to know the numbers and the details and, um, all of that kind of stuff. So here's how you could, here's how you can think. And they of, make decisions with their brain. You the, know what I mean? Like not how they feel, but like they need the data to make the decision. So like Nata maybe ran into what it sounds like to me, maybe a C is mm -hmm. what Nata ran into. Someone who's very detail oriented. It's married to a D, right? right? Like he's a driver <laughs> and he was ready to leave, <laughs> but right. she needed data in order to make the decision. Yes. Right. So, so the way you can think about like, D, I, S, or C is think about it. We were all going to build a home together. This is how I heard it explained. And this is how I memorize it always. If we're, if we're going to build a home and there was, there was four people, there was a D, I, S, or C in the disc profile. The D is the person who's going to come in and go, okay, we're taking that wall down. We're going to put that wall there. We're going to put the stairs there. Let's get to it. That's it. Like that's, that's the D. The I is like, oh my goodness. This is gonna be so much fun. We're gonna build a house. You know what? I'm gonna call the pizza place and we'll order pizzas to come over. We'll get pizzas so that when we get started, we'll have food. Like that's an I who's building the home. The S is gonna be the last person up at night painting the very last corner of the wall because they just wanna make sure that that it, it's perfect, perfect and it gets done for no one's let down because there's something not completed in the home. And so they're very caring, you know, so they're, and they're, they're gonna make sure every last bit of it and the C, you can kind of think of like a CPA. The C person can be like, wait a minute, like, okay, do we have permits? Who got the regulations? Like, what, do we measure how far everything has to be from one another? Like, is this, has this got inspected yet? Like, so you can think of that, like, and that's the people you deal with. So like, it's important at booths also, it's actually important everywhere that, you know, are you talking to a D? Because if you try to talk to a D um, like they're a C, they're going to stop listening to you. And they're going to get frustrated. They're going to be like, I don't, I don't care, you know? Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, you could talk to it, an I, if you talk to them like a D, they're going to be like, they're it's not boring. very, they're, they're boring. They're not very nice. Golly, they were like <laughs> kind of rude, you know? So like, you also got to know who you're talking to and then you got to change your message a little bit based upon, you know, are you interacting with a D, an I, an S or a C? And that will also help you in every conversation. We can do much more, we can, we have a whole program behind this. We did it at Leadership Summit last year. Yeah, but just knowing the different personality profiles and then talking to them is is yeah, it's just like so how you talk to them. Take a snap really judgment important. to figure out who you're talking yeah. to will yeah. totally change the way you interact with people. Yeah, and yeah, and that's where the listening comes in. I think. Mm -hmm. Right, you got to listen to to find out where they're at in that disc. Because, and, and that's, that's something that you really have to, you know, have that mindset and be ready to listen. And I, and that's when you can change the way you react to what they say and you know how to lead in, you know how, where to lead the conversation, right? So, yeah, so it, it takes a bit of practice and, uh, and sometimes it takes, sometimes you make a few mistakes in the beginning, uh, but eventually you figure it out. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for that. Anything else? Oh yes, Lily. So, how do you handle a situation if you have you're at a booth, but you're the only person, and you have someone who comes up who is really interested, but while you're talking to them in the midst of a conversation, then you have maybe another one or two other people who are actually picking up, you know, um, products, mm -hmm. looking at them, and you know they want an answer. How would you handle that? Well, I would definitely, I try to bring them into the conversation, right? So that I'm talking to multiple <clears throat> people at once. And I understand that sometimes it's a very deliberate, direct conversation. But if you're the only one there, 
just be honest and you say, I am so sorry. Give me just a second. I'm the only one here working this booth. Let me just see if they need something, right? Another trick that I used to do is I'd be like, okay, great problem to have. Only one of me and lots of people that want what I'm doing. Give me just a second. I'm going to get their phone number and I'm going to text them whenever we finish. So I'll go over and talk to them. I'm like, wonderful problem to have. You know, like too many people wanting what I've got. Let me get your phone number and I'm going to text you when I finish this conversation. And you can go and walk around and visit the other booths and then come back over and we can have a dedicated conversation. But I would not continue being focused in on the one person without mm -hmm. saying something like, Give me, I am so sorry. I do not want to be rude. If we were at coffee, I would never take my eyes off of you. But give me just one second. I don't want to be rude to them either. They may have just a quick question. I'll be right back. So like, just be honest. You know, mm -hmm. there's only one of you. And I think it'll go over really well. Very rarely do you get someone, if you're honest with them and you say that, that they're going to be mad. But if you continue talking to the one person and someone stands there forever, they are going to leave frustrated. So sure. just try to split yourself in two a little there, you Lily. <laughs> But it is a lot easier, Eulalie, like now that you have Lou's on your team, like I know for a while there, you didn't have any promoters. It's so much easier if you do have more than one body there. Yes, Having so two, three, it, and you will never have to party run. credibility. You know, like yeah. it is, it means so much when you're telling someone about a product like Upbeat and the person next to you finishes a conversation and you're like, oh my goodness, that is my favorite. I take that every day before I work out. Mm -hmm. And I can ride miles further on my bicycle. And then they mm -hmm. turn around and continue doing something else. That yeah. drop of third-party credibility will get you so much more business. So yeah. I would rather yeah. split a booth and split the, the contacts to mm -hmm. have someone there with me as built-in third-party credibility than get all of them on my own any day because I never signed up as many people by myself. And it wasn't just because there was only one of me. It's the lack of third-party credibility and the lack of fun that people could see mm -hmm. us having behind the booth. So definitely take somebody else with you if you can. Yes, for sure. <laughs> and Jennifer, you had your hand up? Thanks. Thank yes, you. I have a few questions, but I think there's only time for one. Um, I was part of an online vendor show last week, and my kind of contribution was uh, somebody won $10, a $10 gift. So I figured I'd do like a little Neo Life packet. What should I put in it, and how do I not verbal diarrhea what it's all about, <laughs> and how to use the product? <laughs> can you if you've got okay so it depends on what you have at your house I don't want you like going broke doing anything but like for instance I have an extra shaker bottle at my house and I've got a pack of all the shakes you know like a box I've got at least a vanilla a, a berry and a chocolate shake I've got a beet, I've got tea like I've got things I would take samples of all those I'd put it inside the shaker bottle I'd tie it up really nice and then I would put a note you know like that way it's not you know they're not verbally like vomiting everything on it but like a really cute note that's like here is what is in your goodie bag three shakes that are scientifically perfect meals you're gonna love them you only have to mix them up with water there's an upbeat in there it's perfect from the boardroom to the bedroom and then I would write the words wink wink because they're gonna love that and then say it's for stamina, endurance, and circulation. And then I put in a Neolife tea. It is amazing. It's going to give you great energy, great mental focus. You are going to love your goodie bag. Do you know what I mean? Like make it really personal. Um, you don't have to put it in a shaker bottle. You can put it into a bag, but I would make it really yeah, personal. I have a bottle, I have, but I do have a bag. Yeah, and I have to mail it bag. to province. Way. Yeah, that's perfect just put it into a bag and make it very personal and not overly sciencey because if they want more information about it they absolutely can get it uh but they're gonna they're gonna like that handwritten note a lot better and they'll read the whole thing and my business card yes or no totally up to i wouldn't but uh maybe you look at it differently the reason i would not is because if you give someone your business card they're going to go to your website and they are going to make a snap judgment on whether the products are worth the price that they see. If you haven't had time to build the value and play, like put the value of our products on, like they don't understand the value of our products, then you are relying on the fact that they are going to see the value in the products and then match it up with the price that they see. I think sending someone to your worry website. worry about that when I give up the card too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't, I mean, I am not a business card uh, fan and it's just because I think it is, a, I think it is an, 
an easy out. And whenever you take that easy out, it usually does not result in business because they're going to go to the website and they are going to use what they know about other omegas to make a decision whether salmon oil is worth it. So mm -hmm. instead, like when somebody, you know, I'm talking to somebody and let's say they say, oh, I would love to know more about that. I'll say, oh, great. I'll send you some information. But the information I send them is a screenshot of the salmon oil plus bottle. And it's my own words that say, all right, this is our salmon oil plus that you and I were talking about. It has been proven clinically to decrease your inflammatory index 68% in eight weeks. But that's all I need to tell them about it, right? Like they can find out everything else they need to more, but like a punchy statement in my own words and then continue the conversation. You know, like they can ask me more about it. But if you send them the link to the website, they're going to go. I mean, we all do it. We go straight to the price. I find dresses and shorts and all sorts of stuff that I love all the time. I click on that dumb link from Facebook. I go in and I'm like, 72, give me a break. I'm not buying that for 72. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, that is no way. And I think people do that quite often. And it's our job to create the value in our products. And um, I don't think that, I don't think it gets there if they just go to your website. So maybe leave it out, but put your phone number. <laughs> and and you said that it's a, you, you're going to, it's a $10 gift they want. Is that right? Right. That you wasn't my choice. We had, we had to choose of what we were offering. You could also you could, offer them, like you could message them and say, I can send you this, you know, sample bag, or I can give you $10 off of an order, right? Like, and ask them which they would rather do. That's, that was also another thing I was thinking is that it could be, if you like created, almost created like a $10 like gift card, gift you card. know, yeah. um, that you could send to them and you could say like, you know, here's $10, you know, off your first order. I'd love to help, you know, personalize, you know, whatever, whatever the better word choices yeah. are, but that's another way to go about it too. Um, mm -hmm. it's only going to get tricky because they obviously won't be able to use that card. You know what I mean? Like they're not gonna be able to use it really on their order. So you're going to have to like Venmo it back or whatever. So have the conversation and say, you know, I've got a, I've got a goodie bag for you, but I'll be glad to take $10 off your order. You know, like if you, or, you know, if you order by X amount a day, I'll be glad to reimburse you $10 for your order. And that way it doesn't look funky. Okay. Well, we'll talk more about that, Jen. Well, well I'll give you some okay. ideas. I've got you have another question, Jennifer? Other questions. Uh, the other one was, where do I find the save and share cart info? I'll tag you. And in. how do I find more markets? I'll, I'll, I'll show, I'll show you how to do the stuff, the save and share. There's, a, there's actually a video too, I think that's posted. Yeah, I'll in tag you in it right now, Jennifer. I, I tagged somebody earlier today. Yeah, there's a video. Well, what was your first. second question? I'm so sorry. Just how do you find markets? How do you find these markets that you're, that everybody's doing? Oh, um, they, you know what, Nada, can you, can yeah. you answer that? Because I don't know where you guys yeah, are. Yeah, so I, I mean, it, you can Google, just Google search. Um, you go to community websites. Um, yeah, we'll 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 talk about that too, Jen. Okay. Yeah, it depends on the area, the Thank town, you. the city, and there's so many things going on right now. A lot of fairs and shows. You just got to find them, and yeah, there's different ways of of looking for stuff like that. I googled um, looking for vendors. Mm. Looking for vendors. Mm. Excellent. Well, just put events, events too, Jen, you know, on Facebook in mm. that particular area mm -hmm. and it'll pop up. Jennifer, I almost tagged you in the wrong video and Wit caught it. He was like, no, 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 not that one. Oh, is that why you're laughing? I was wondering yeah. why Wit was laughing. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I've completely was tagging you in like a discover more um, ah. <laughs> recording. Jennifer, okay. are you on the business builders Facebook page? I believe yes. so. Yes, yes. You come yeah. you come on the um the calls, the leadership calls. So she's she should be there. Do you want to put it in the in that group so we all have it, Ash? Mm -hmm. It is it's already in there. I was just trying to tag her in it. You know, Nada, you're coming up. I'll tag you because I okay. can't find Jennifer, but there we go. Okay. You're tagged in it. Okay, awesome. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you. All right, and we 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 have our, our discover more happening in about five minutes, and then you've got yours happening in about an hour. Um, so I just want to thank you both for, for jumping on. I know you got some great things happening, um, at the, at the head office and it's, it's, it must be amazing hanging out with Kendra. Yeah. So much fun. 
Yeah, and, and, and any of the SAB members there? Uh, well, Dr. Susan Beck. Okay. Dr. Susan Beck, you know, who's our, also our chief science officer. Yeah. But what's really, what's really fun, sorry, this will be super quick. There's like two minutes to finish, but this yeah, will give yeah. you probably more encouragement and excitement and confidence for the future. Uh, tomorrow, we're having our like um, annual like summer, like corporate office party, I guess you would say. Yeah. So yeah. like our, our Sheila, who is our VP of HR is playing this amazing like um, event at a park, you know, so the, and like, and as you know, with, with COVID and things along those lines, there are a lot more remote employees who are a part of Neolife now, like obviously Ashley's in Virginia, I'm in Texas, we have a, um, a dedicated project manager who really in, like has really helped ensure that like across the board, like our, our, our projects are staying, you know, she's a, a, a staying on track and like, you know, managing all the projects from beginning to completion. She lives in Indiana. So she flew in. So she's here today. We have, um, uh, both Brian and Cheryl came in from oh, yeah. different parts our, of California, our VP of it and VP of, of digital, you know, they're in Southern California. So they flew up. Um, Brooke is our, she's like a chief. She's like a, uh, nutritional, a, a product Techno, uh, product scientist, something scientist, or nutritional scientist, maybe nutritional scientist. Oh, something in, really smart. I forgot where she's in. She, but and, and a lot of these people I'm mentioning like are all like new. Like all of us are, you know. So, but like, so we're all in. And I will tell you this: we were talking about last night at dinner. We we're talking with Kendra today. Um, I have never been a part of actually. Mrs. We've never been a part of a better corporate team than than what's been assembled at Neo Life over the years and who the company has decided to retain and keep, who the company's added on. Like I've never been somewhere where there's been, where like the entire corporate staff is all like locked in on the mission and the vision of what this is about, who all care about you all and like your success. It's not like, I'm just showing up because I'm doing my job. Like that's not what anybody, like they all, everyone has a passion for making Neolife as great as it can possibly be. And so it's super exciting. She gives you all a lot of confidence in the future of the company that Kendra and Marco have really, really created an amazing team of people, all passionate and dedicated to support you and see you grow and are bought in. Like, like you don't have to, like everyone's bought in. So it's exciting. I, you know what? And we feel it and, and see it in your, in your eyes, in your expressions. Like when you hang out with us, when you come here, we know that it's real and that you're not just doing it because it's a good paying job. And, and that we really, truly really appreciate that because I know what it's like to go to work and just do your job and can't wait to get home. Right. Because most people are in that environment where they, they work to make money, to pay the bills, but they can't wait to get home. Whereas you guys are like all in just like we're all in. And that's how we feel when we're, building our business and we're talking to people and we're sharing and uh, we don't feel like we're working right and that's the beauty of what we do and we really appreciate um you guys coming on board and the leadership that you guys are a part of now so i'm so grateful we're all grateful for you guys and i know ashley you're coming in september too for us so or in the fall anyway so anyways really excited thank you for everything and uh, we'll see you guys uh, we'll see you guys soon Alrighty, have a great Discover More. Bye. We'll see you later. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.